I used to get sad when you get under my skin But I guess I kinda grew out of dancing around it Closed my door so you can't get in Doing better than I've ever been I'm putting on my makeup Take another shot of all the good stuff Shining when I wake up If you're new here, hi, my name is Diane. I'm an indie author. I have one book out currently. It's a little poetry collection called In the Interest of Letting Go. Links for that are down below if you want to check it out. And I make videos about my life and my writing process and all that stuff here on YouTube. And you're watching one of them, so subscribe if you like the vibe. Today's video is exciting for me because, as you can see from the title, I'm taking myself on a little bit of a an author date, a self-love date. I'm taking myself on a little bit of a date, okay? And that date will consist of doing some writing in a library and also just being surrounded by books. Going to a bookstore. It's going to be such a good time. Today I really just wanted to romanticize my author life, my my writing routine, my writing day. Last night I showered, I did my hair, I finally curled my hair. I haven't done that in a while. I've just been like leaving it natural so it felt really, it felt really fancy to actually curl my hair again. This morning I woke up early, I got all done up. I actually put lipstick on today. I love wearing lipstick. I feel like it's really important to kind of just have a day every once in a while where you get a little dressed up, you get a little fancy, and you just make your writing day a little more fun, a little more romantic, a little more exciting. And so doing my hair and doing my makeup this morning and getting all dressed dressed up has felt so so good and then to top it all off I put on my jewelry which I do want to talk a little bit about of the jewelry that I currently own that I even wear on a daily basis on a regular basis it's all it's all from Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a jewelry company I've known about them for years I've wanted to work with them for years I finally got the chance to work with them a few months ago I honestly adore so many of their pieces they have such cute beautiful pieces on their website they're focused and strive to be as sustainable as possible is really important to me especially with the jewelry industry we know that the jewelry industry is a very resource intensive industry. It's not it's not the best on the planet. But the great thing about Eloise is that they recognize that and they're taking responsibility for that and they're just constantly striving to become more sustainable and do better for the planet. And so Eloise is completely carbon and water neutral from product to packaging and that feels that feels very good for me. And the quality of their pieces just it feels really good and especially if you're considering how affordable the pieces are it's just it's it's lovely. And so this time for this partnership they sent me four pieces. Three of which I'm currently wearing and I've been obsessed with ever since I got them, ever since I unpacked them. There's this ring that I am currently wearing. So they have a lot of, they have a lot of gold and they also have a lot of silver. And I'm typically a silver girl, but I told myself if I worked with them again, I would, I would try some, I would try some gold pieces, you know? I, I wanted to try gold because I love the look of gold on other people. I've just never liked it on me. I have changed my tune. I think I'm really loving, I'm really loving the gold, the gold look. And so this ring is just, it is just so cute and dainty. And they have a lot of like dainty stuff and I love the little part like it's so cute it is so cute definitely love this ring I also got these earrings that I'm currently wearing which are my new favorite I love the other earrings that I got from them but these are my new favorite I love these I want to I want to wear these all the time they are just so damn cute and I'll have everything linked down below but I'm loving I'm loving these I'm loving these earrings this next piece which you've already seen I've been wearing it this whole time and I also wore it in another video I think but oh my goodness I when I tell you I squealed when I unpacked this when I saw that this is the one that they sent me. This necklace I've honestly wanted for months now and I'm so glad that I have it. Like it is so cute. It is so cute. And not only is it just cute on its own, but it's actually a collaboration with a big booktuber on here that I love, that I watch. She's also Canadian. And when I saw her video where she announced the piece, I just, I knew, I was like, I need that necklace. I, I need it. I love that. I'll have her video linked down below as well where she goes a little bit more into, you know, her, her design process and all that stuff for this necklace. But I love it. I love it. I'm so happy with it. That I want to wear it forever. And the last thing that they sent me this time around is another necklace which I have worn and, and love but I'm not wearing it today because I, I really want to wear this one. But it's this necklace here and this one is so cute because it has like it flips so it has that like cloudy rainy side but then it also has this little sun side. I love it. It's so, uh, uh, it's so cute. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with all these pieces and I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to be able to work with a brand that I really really enjoy. So thank you 
Katie and Louisa for partnering with me on this video. They're currently having a kind of self-love Valentine's Day sort of sale going on. If you've been wanting to check them out for any amount of time, for any reason, now's the time. I think it's up to like 25% off or something. If you've been wanting to get yourself something and you've been talking yourself out of it because you're like, I can't justify buying myself, Julie. Just do it, okay? Just do it this Valentine's Day. Okay, so as far as the plan for today, I am about to leave to go to the library. I'm hoping, so I'll get there around 10. My goal while I'm there, my goal for today really, is to finish chapter 12 of Ben. I'm currently on chapter 12. That's where we are. I'm very excited about it. I have prepped myself for it last night after I finished chapter 11. And I think for the most part, the changes in chapter 12 are more just like dialogue tweaking and stuff. And then obviously changing the tense. So I'm feeling very optimistic about finishing chapter 12 while I'm at the library. I'm hoping to stay there until about noon or one. And I think I think I should be able to finish chapter 12 in that time. That would be lovely. And then after the library, there is a bookstore that I wanted to check out because I was doing a little bit of research and I was looking for indie bookstores that do consignment. So I did find this one and it looks really cute and I just kind of wanted to go check it out. So we'll be doing that today as well. And yeah, I feel like I've been chatting for a while. So let's just get started. Let's go on this author date. back home. It's about 2 p.m. right now. First of all, I got there. It was beautiful. It was grand. It was neat. It was clean. It was lovely. It was probably about 11 by the time I sat down and started writing and I managed to finish editing chapter 12 of Ben by 1 p.m. It felt so good in there. I was able to focus. I just felt like it just, I don't know how to describe the feeling. I love writing at home. I love sitting here and writing and doing my thing. This is my little cozy creative space, but there's something about going out to do work in a library. I don't, I, I don't know. I wanna go there every day. That's not realistic, especially once I start work, but if I can go there at least a few times a month, maybe every weekend, that would be so lovely. It was great. It was so, so good. I was a little bit concerned about how comfortable it would be to sit there for a few hours because lately I've just, my knees, everything, my hips, everything hurts. It hurts to sit, it hurts to stand. So I was a little bit concerned about maybe, you know, not feeling very comfortable while I was sitting there, but I was pretty dang comfortable. I was kind of at my own table and I had like, I could put my feet up on the chair next to me if I needed to. I could like, I, I, I was comfortable and focused. So so much more focused than I would have been at home and that I usually am at home. I did have my phone with me. So, you know, there's moments where I checked my phone. I'm working on that. But for the most part, like I didn't have, like usually the boys, like my rats will just, they're so cute. And sometimes they make little noises. And sometimes I just look at them because they're right in front of me while I'm writing. And at least three to four times a writing session, I like have to get up and just like go admire them because they're so damn cute. And I give them little treats and they get so happy and it's just adorable. It's the cutest thing. But at the library, I did not have the boys to distract me. So I just, I felt a lot more focused. And I don't know, it felt kind of, it felt more purposeful. Like it just, it felt like I was doing the thing and it was great. I don't know. I don't know. So I loved it. When I first got there, it was pretty empty. There were people though in like kind of the prime spots, I think, like the kind of more secluded spots. But I did find a table. I had a table all to myself, basically, even after it started to fill up a little bit with more people as time went on. It was so lovely. And then once I finished chapter 12, I prepped a bit of chapter 13. So that's all ready to go. I might work on that a little bit later, but I'll probably save it 
for tomorrow because I can. And then I packed everything up and I just kind of walked around a little bit. I ended up finding the area of like writing reference books and stuff, like editing reference books and all that stuff. So I spent some time looking at those books and it was so good. Like I can't, I can't, I'm so happy right now. I feel so grateful. I feel so incredibly lucky and fortunate to, to be able to, to do this, you know, to be able to do this right now. And I'm just, I'm glad that I took today to do it. It's a gorgeous day. It's beautiful outside. It's sunny. It's bright. It's not too cold. It's, it's the perfect day. I feel like I've just given myself such a big hug today and it feels so good. So yeah, all that being said, the library was lovely. I had a great time. Cannot wait to go back. I reached my goal of finishing chapter 12 today, so I'm feeling so accomplished. And I'm just gonna have a quick bite to eat before I head out to the bookstore, which is the second part of my kind of self-love author date day. Cannot wait. I am gonna try to get there and get back home hopefully before rush hour gets too bad in the city. So I'm gonna eat some food and then I'm gonna head over to the bookstore. Who's got it going on? So I am back home now. It's a little bit after 4 p.m. and I'm feeling so good. I've had a wonderful day. The bookstore was so cute. It's such a different vibe in an indie bookstore. It's just, I loved it. It was great. I wanted to chat with the people who work there, but I was too shy. I'm still too shy. I'm so socially awkward. I can't wait for the day when I can go into a bookstore and talk to the people in there about books. Like I just, that's that would be great. Anyway, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening eating things that I like. I'll probably watch something on Netflix. I'm gonna do a bit of video editing on this new, I bought, okay, oh my gosh. I don't know what these are called exactly, like a lap desk or something. I bought this little stand thing for, for, for working on my bed. Even though I know I don't really wanna make a habit of working on my bed, I have been doing it a bit lately because I needed a little change of scenery and I was trying to see if it would be more comfortable for me to sit on my bed. Anyway, I started working on my bed and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get one of those like thingies. This is my favorite thing that I've purchased in the last few years. I love this thing so much and it's so big. Like, it's huge. I have so much space. I can host a dinner party and have guests over and serve them food on this thing. It's huge. I love it so much. So I'll probably do a little bit of video editing in here on my room on my new little desk thing and just kind of enjoy the rest of my evening. Honestly, the library was amazing. Going to the bookstore was amazing. I did see, I don't know if I vlogged it or not, but I did see Lizelle Sanbury's books in there as well as Lindsay Puckett's books. I was so excited to see them in there. So I did take photos and I'm gonna send the photos to them and just let them know that their books are in a little indie bookstore in Toronto. But yeah, thank you so much for following along with me today. It's been so good and I really encourage you to kind of have your own author date, your own kind of romanticizing of your writing craft and your writing process and just celebrate you in general. You know, it's February, it's it's the time of love, and especially this February, I feel like we can all, we could all use a little more self-love. And your writing, of course. I feel like your writing deserves your love. I know especially for me, 
sometimes I can be pretty hard on my writing. <laughs> I can definitely say not so nice things about it sometimes, so it was really good to kind of just spend time with myself and my craft and books and yeah, I don't know. It's, it's been a magical day. I've had such a good time. I'm so glad that I took time today to focus on myself and my writing and books. So yeah, thank you and thank you again to Anna Louisa for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget to check out their Valentine's Day sale if you're interested. I have a link down below if you want to check them out. And yeah, otherwise let me know how you're doing, let me know how your writing is going, and let me know what you would do on your author date. Like what, what would you do to kind of romanticize your writing routine? Thank you so much for watching and if you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stay gold because you are golden. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.